Okay, this is Save Wolf. It's a relatively unknown title by a bunch of bedroom programmers. You might have heard about them. Oh, play the game. Uh, now they produce quite a few gems here and there. Uh, one of such games is Night Law, which was a sort of slow-paced 3D maze game, which saw your hero called Save Man. He he went around the place having seizures all the time and uh, turned a hairy wolf-like beast. It's a bit like Richard Keys, really, because he's a hairy bugger, isn't he? I mean, have you seen his arms? He, his arms alone could cure uh, baldness for somebody because they're so bloody hairy. Uh, other games they had which didn't uh, revolve around your character having strokes is uh, Pist, which was like a gardening game. You, you go around gardening for some reason. It's inspired by uh, Antip Martian Gardens World, but it's a load of rubbish. Uh, well, other ones they have Cookie, where you go around cooking biscuits and all sorts of stuff. I mean, they had some really shit ideas for games back in them days, but that, that's the 80s for you, so. There are plenty more games that came out of the uh, I Want to Play the Game bedroom, and this is one such one from about 984. It's, say, Wolf. Now, it's staying in maze type affairs, loads of these sort of games, but this is set in a gloriously colourful jungle as you can see. Uh, somebody's cut a path here, makes it easier for your character to move around, and you, you play the part of Save Man again, he's back from his adventures from uh, Night Law. That's a bit of an amulet, I'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah, so you've got over, he's got over his strokes from the last game, but unfortunately uh, he does dribble a bit now when he talks. Uh, you know, his, his, his jaw's a bit offset with the rest of his face, all thanks to his strokes, but it doesn't make him popular with the hoi ploy at parties, it's a bit of embarrassment, but you know, he gets along, this guy, he's a troop, that's what I like about Save Man, you know. He stands up to things, he, he he doesn't he doesn't mind a bit of adversity, that's what makes him stronger. Anyway, you go around with your trusty saber, swashbuckling, killing creatures and that, and grabbing loot along the way, and there's plenty of it. Now ultimately, the aim of the game is for Save Man to get the hell out of this place. He's searching for pieces of the amulet, I found one bit earlier. Uh, well, this will give him passage out of here. He got all oh, check them bears, uh, because he didn't want to be in this jungle, and because uh, he's on holiday in the Amazon on a cruise, and he got a bit merry. He got a bit merry. Had a few too many Bacardis, a few too many gins. And he fell overboard, and uh, woke up in the jungle, which you know that's ruined his holiday. And he's a bit pissed off about that. But uh, yeah, so he's woke up here in, a, in this uh, bloody jungle. Oh, there's the wolf. Now I say there's loads of hostile creatures in this place and insects, and they. I take umbrage when this bloke turns up drunk, so they're here to kill him. And not just to that, there's bloody natives out there, a bit hostile. They're, they're after him, and the wolf. Now, you just seen that wolf, he killed me early, and he's a pain in the arse. He's like the king of the jungle, you know. Forget Baloo and all them people, you know, I'm the king of the jungle. I mean, this this guy, this wolf, he, he prowls the bloody uh, jungle, marking his territory, you know. Pissing on bloody uh, rocks, trees, the usual thing, you know, and jumping on anyone, anyone he comes across. And it's bloody. I mean, look, poor old this. All these things he same man's got to contend with, and he's still recovering from a bloody stroke and a hangover. So, poor old chap, ain't got a chance really. Now there's a heck of a lot of loot around the way, which gives you bonus lights and that. And bloody hell, by heck, you need it because it's a bastard place this jungle is to visit. You don't want to go here on holiday. I know this save man done, didn't. Uh, there's odd syringe littered about the place, and I don't know what that's about. I mean. See the Medicine Sans Frontieres been there on a human humanitarian mission and uh well they've been mauled by the wolf and lost all their stuff. Or more likely the bloody uh natives a bunch of junkies. That was you know, the That go a fair way to explain their behaviour when you think about it, wouldn't they, you know? They're you know, they're edgy, look at them, look at them. They're edgy and bloody uh, erratic. All they're doing, they're looking for the next fix, no one they've got no time for me. You know, whatever, all these objects are all worth points. Look at that bastard. Oi, oh, piss off, you junkie. Anyway, Save Man, he's a bit of a pretty swift and agile fella. Look at that, I mean, look at this Saber action. Uh, it's a bit like watching Errol Flynn in action, isn't it? So he puts Errol to shame. I mean, in fact, watching Save Man jiggle his sword is a bit like uh, watching a beautiful dance. A Sabre dance, you could uh, say, in fact. <laughs>
That's a nice little treat, weren't it? <laughs> anyway, I think overall, Save Wolf, it's a fantastic game, really. A bit simple. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, you do often die a lot, several times in a row, as you saw earlier, which is pain in the ass, but it's the only game you get to uh, tickle a rhino up the bum. So, in that, my book, that makes it a classic automatically. So, overall, 9 out of 10, I think. If you could skin that bastard wolf and, uh, you know, cook its bloody innards, I'd give it a 10, but you can't, so it's a waste opportunity. So, top stuff, though, top stuff. Here's to those bedroom programmers. Where are they now?